gift buying can be hard. I don't know what I'm gonna get these people. We want to show people we love them. Oh, I hate shopping for presents. Ugh. But it can be hard to decide what to get people. I personally have tried it all. Well, mostly. Merry Christmas. No. Huh? Yeah. No. But this gift seems to be one of the worst, if you're not careful, in my opinion. Hey friend, if this is your first time here, my name is Robin. I help overwhelmed people, maybe like yourself, simplify life through decluttering, planning, and productivity so that you can relax and enjoy life. All right, grab your tea and let's go. So what is this evil gift? It's subscription boxes. Okay, okay, they're not all that bad. Just when you think, hey, I know what I'm gonna get, Jimmy, a subscription box. Just wait though, I do have a couple of exceptions at the end that might work. For those who don't know, subscription boxes are usually a monthly subscription that will arrive at someone's house filled with a variety of really cool things usually. And there are thousands, maybe tens of thousands of options out there, maybe even more, I don't even know. Initially, they sound great though. There are boxes for self care, grooming, clothing, makeup, skincare, beauty products, boxes for your kids, boxes for your babies, and boxes for your pets. There are even boxes for your plants. Okay, those sound great. I'm gonna order some of those. Whoa, 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 wait. These boxes are super appealing to many of us. The pictures show pretty things, yummy things, useful things, there's beautiful colors, they all look great. I mean, I would love a box of goodies to show up at my house once a month. What fun, like what a surprise. I think it sounds great. I work hard, I deserve a reward, and that's just for me, but wouldn't my family love to get a subscription box every month? What joy. Wait a minute, I tried this. Oh, that's right. We tried a popular kid's crafting subscription box a few years ago as a Christmas gift for our son. He liked it though. I'm not going to get you wrong here, but he got some really cool things and he put them together, but there's one problem. Instead of one piece to declutter, you then have three or six or 12, depending on the subscription. I'm not saying that the actual projects or whatever activity it is that comes is not worth it. Because believe me, I think this is super cool, but be mindful that your most clutter bug child may perhaps not want to part with these items and they may still be in his room four years later, stuck on the wrong date. Now we are reasonable minimalists after all, we don't go extreme, but we do wanna be intentional about what we buy. So there are a couple of problems here. Number one, you or your gift receiver are probably not gonna want all of the items in every box. They may already have some of the items that are in the box and then they have to decide what they wanna keep. Not only is this wasteful, but it's also giving your loved one the gift of clutter. And when we give the gift of clutter, we are ultimately giving the gift of stress. And if your loved one will have things accumulating, but also then they have to decide what they wanna keep. Hopefully they find it easier to be declutter because you didn't personally choose the item, but some people are extra sentimental and they might actually still find it hard, which is increasing their stress. And then when they go to declutter it, then they have to find somewhere for it to go. And then they have to find someone to take it. And then they have to send it to the landfill. And then that ultimately causes the gift of guilt. Maybe I'm being dramatic, but am I? What about the beauty boxes you ask? Well, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of particular about what items I use. My curly hair can get rather frizzy in a second with the wrong product. My rosacea can go extreme with the wrong thing. The thing is, you're basically giving the gift of sometimes waste, sometimes clutter. Now, surely not all boxes are bad, you might ask, and I agree, they're not all bad. There are some boxes and I think that they might be better. I myself have in the past used a meal delivery kit, which is a form of subscription, but this is a little different because I choose my meals and I choose the weeks that it works. The thing is, this is a great gift for people who are busy, maybe people with ADHD, people who are going to have a busy week coming up or trouble planning. They might really like this. We actually used ours to teach our kids how to cook. So I think this is a good gift for somebody if you know that they would like it and then they can choose the meals and the weeks that work for them. Now, you know I love edible gifts and subscription boxes with food are probably going to be your best bet if you really wanna go the subscription box route. So just be really smart. What is it? It's a one year membership in the Jelly of the Month Club. Oh, good. 
There are great wine subscription boxes. And what I like about the wine boxes is that you are also giving people things that they can bring to parties or give as gifts themselves, like if they don't like. Uh, ultimately, it's just really handy to have a bottle of wine around if you need to bring it. So I like those for sure. I'm not a big wine person really, but I do love David's Tea, and they actually have a subscription now. And this is one thing that is really good because even if um, you got a certain tea or the person got the tea that they didn't love, they can just take it to work and then Kathy can drink it. And I have a link below for David's Tea. I now have a, an affiliate link for them because because I drink so much other tea. I was like, I should get an affiliate link. Now, one of my husband's favorite gifts ever that he got was a box of meat. It wasn't actually a subscription, but it was a box of salamis and he really enjoyed it. And so there are definitely meat subscription services you can get as well. And another good one would be like a cheese or a wine or cheese and wine and chocolate, something like that. Those boxes do exist. Now, another one is I love a good cider and there are some really nice looking cider subscription boxes out there too. Now, this is something I could get behind for sure. Now, of course, there are many beer subscription boxes, no doubt. Now, as my audience in my 57 gifts to give video voted, chocolate is number one. Now, you can never go wrong with chocolate, even if your loved one is one of the rare people who doesn't like chocolate. Uh, I think you're wrong about that one. Uh, there is nobody that doesn't like chocolate. Even if they don't, they can give it as a gift. I mean, really, chocolate is like a really handy thing to have, and it has a decent shelf life, so I like to give chocolate as a good gift. It's even nice if you have somebody over, you can just like put a plate of chocolate out. They will probably like it. Now, what about the kids, you ask? Well, obviously there are candy subscription boxes and of course the chocolate ones, like I mentioned. Many parents would probably not enjoy you gifting a box of candy to come to their house every day, although they might. There are also fruit subscription boxes that you can get, all kinds. There's even one that I've seen advertised a lot and it has freeze-dried fruit and I love freeze-dried fruit. It is so yummy. One of the things about subscription boxes though is that sometimes they can be kind of pricey. They can run anywhere from 10 to the sky's the limit. One way you can personalize things and maybe save a bit of money is perhaps just send a monthly card or your own little box of goodies and even just hand deliver it. And you're probably still thinking, hmm, I wonder what kind of gift I could give. You can always put together a gift basket. I made one of those in the past and I've got a video on that. But I recently made a video all about the 57 gift ideas that you can give with no clutter. So click this video here and I will see you in the next video. Bye.